Still the Nation, what's going on? We back with another one of them tweet things, man. Shout out to Blitzberg. They had tweeted out, this came from Mark Caboli or Mason Rudolph. Mason might have the ability to pick and choose a situation that is best for him to compete for a starting job or at worst, a backup spot. Rudolph had zero interest in re returning to the Steelers. Now, my opinion on that is this. You go, Mason. You never really had a shot with us, bro. Um, you was drafted in 2018, third round. And the first thing that popped out was comments from Big Ben. I'm not, I'm not going to say verbatim, but Big Ben was mad at the team for drafting a quarterback. Should have got a skilled player or something like that. You know, Ben, ben didn't really open up the... Let me say. He didn't welcome him with open arms. And you can't blame Ben for that because Ben is still the guy at the time and he wants help. He wants to try to win a ring, you know? So he's, he, he didn't like that. So Mason Rudolph already kind of got slided out the gate. His second year, Big Ben got hurt, you know, with his elbow. So Mason Rudolph was able to start a couple games. I think he went five and three in that, in that span. And I think either he got hurt. Or whatever, but he was sharing time with Doug Hodges. Doug Hodges came in and won a couple games himself. But still a nation, when we saw Mason Rudolph, we all we really saw was a guy that can just be a backup for us. Right? I didn't when I watched Mason Rudolph play, I didn't really see a guy that can take the Steelers to the next level. Now, he may have an opportunity to be a starter out here. The Texans have David Mills, and Mason Rudolph can probably be better than uh, David, David Mills, right? But as far as the Pittsburgh Steelers, it's like he never really had a full shot because we ended up drafting Kenny Pickett last year. And not to mention before all that, not to mention, the most iconic play or situation or moment that Mason Rudolph has as a Pittsburgh Steeler is the incident when he gets hit in the, hit in the head with his, helmet, with his own helmet from Miles Garrett. And in that situation, shout out to Marquise Pouncey, man, because Marquise Pouncey did what an offensive lineman is supposed to do when your quarterback get hit in a way that's dirty, you know, that's not football. And even if it is football, shout out to Marquise Pouncey, man. We need more linemen like you, man. But Mason Rudolph really never had a good chance because once this year came along, we signed Mitchell Trubisky and we ended up drafting Kenny Pickett. So that's two shots. That's two shots of Mason Rudolph's pride. Say, oh, yeah? Yeah? Yeah, this is what y'all think of me? Okay. Like Denzel Trainer Day. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So Mason Rudolph, really, he really never had a shot. And I'm not mad at him for not wanting to return to the Steelers, man. Um, I think he can be a backup. Probably he could have been one of the best backups the Steelers could have um, since maybe Charlie Batch. But... He's still young. He's still young. I believe this will be his fifth year. The, this upcoming scene will be his fifth year. So why not try to go get a job where you can start? You know, it's an opportunity out there. I don't think Mason Rudolph, and there may not be 32 quarterbacks better than Mason Rudolph in the NFL. It may be 28. It may be 28. Maybe 29. But I'm just being nice. I'm just say 28. So I think Mason Rudolph may have a shot. Y'all let me know in the comments, man. Like, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if y'all feel like Mason Rudolph can start somewhere else or is he going to be a lifetime backup. And Mason, my message to you is you're going to have to rewrite that, man, because when someone say your name, all they think about is the... That's all they're going to think about, man. But salute to you. You deserve to have a shot to try to succeed somewhere. Um... But I know all Silver Nation don't feel like that. So y'all let me know in the comments. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. It's your man, Kev Easy. I'll see you on another one. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification button to stay up to date for Stills for 7 podcast content.